Hi, I'm Dawn and this is where Shabby meets Bling. It is beautiful outside, which means I get to do one of my favorite things. I get to work outside in my yard. I have two projects that I need to take care of, one big and one not so big, but both play a huge part in the overall look of my yard and gardens. So let's start with the smaller project first. I came across these urns, two of them. Well, there were, they had a lot more than two at Menards and they were ugly, gold, and they were on clearance. This was late in the year. So I picked two of them up for dirt cheap. I painted them uh, blue as a base coat and it's not the blue I wanted, but that's the paint I had just to cover that gold. And then I came back in with the color I really wanted, which was this beautiful slate blue, which matches other projects that I've used in my yard. Now to give the second coat to that other urn. Now I'm prepping for planting. I don't want to fill this entire urn, so I am going to use some spacers in the bottom. I am going to start with chicken wire, so that way whatever I put on top of that the water will still drain out so I'll have good drainage. So I add in my chicken wire and now I've doubled two plastic pots for stability and flip them upside down to act as risers and then I will add a liner on top to catch the water from my pot. Once again each side will get two pots and in between each pot I'm adding coconut liner. Since the urn is so deep and in days here are hot, this will help preserve the moisture for the plant. Add your other pot back, press it in firmly, and add some rocks for some decent drainage. Now it's time to plant. These are plants that I had potted last year. I cellar my plants to keep them. Anything that's potted, I sell, whether they're um, an annual or a perennial, I tend to not buy too many annuals, but uh, my perennials I keep. So I am just tickling the roots, I'm loosening them up so they can start growing in this nice bigger pot. As I'm planting, I add a spacer pot. That spacer pot is going to allow me from season to season to add different plants in that cavity such as um, now I may add a fern, a mini fern, but in the fall, maybe I'll add a mum. Here we are all planted with last year's, last year's plants. And you can see my spacer pot is covered for the time being with mulch. We'll see more later. Well, that first project is complete and we're gonna take a look at it in just a little bit. But for right now, we need to move on to that bigger project because it's going to take some time. So let's get started with that. This is the pride and joy of my yard. This is my cart and it didn't always look like this. She's had a serious makeover. Originally, she looked like this. I bought her on Marketplace for a song and since then she has been changed dramatically. She has a brand new structure. The sides are made out of our old fencing and her trim is old molding from the house. Two wheelbarrow handles have become her handles and I've added metal detailing. Her fabric awning is long gone <laughs> to be replaced with the exact same materials we used in the base. And here you see a metal piece that I picked up resale and is now welded in place to give it a little more detail. One on each side. But now it's time to complete the transformation. I'm starting with these brackets that are definitely broken uh, and I bought them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. First, I need to disassemble. Now that she's been glued and clamped, we'll let it wait overnight and then I'll paint her. <laughs> paint. <laughs> painted a nice mossy green. I've attached them both to the cart and this is the salvaged piece of wood that will become the top. Here we have another resale item. It's a wall sconce and I'm going to cut it right there because it's going to be hanging sideways to hold a sign that I'm going to make. 
Mike Dremel makes pretty quick work out of this. And uh, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a sanding so that the edges aren't so sharp. So here's another <laughs> Hobby Lobby clearance item. Uh, this beautiful metal dog bowl holder. And you're probably thinking, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, for now, it's just going to be a holding spot inside my cart. Hey, uh, <laughs> how do you feel about adding a couple old metal uh, curtain rods? They will play a very important part shortly. So at some point in time in the past, I picked up this metal sign and I'm going to give it a, a real quick uh, sanding and then I'm going to paint it. So she's been painted and now I've cut out uh, a couple Florida leaves and the word flowers in French out of my sticky stencils, which I will apply and then paint again. So here she is with her mossy green paint color, the second paint color. And I, of course, peeled the sticky stencils already and I did uh, lay some painter's tape over the one edge so it would remain that initial color I used. Colors, plural. Okay, so I figure she needed a little bit of highlights. Now, keep in mind, I am no uh, up all night DIY with Monica, <laughs> who is an extremely talented painter. Hey, but when push comes to shove, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do to get the job done, so. I have linked uh, Monica's channel in the description box below. Please check her out. She's extraordinary. Time out for a trip to Goodwill. I picked up these brown party lights in this tin flower bucket. The white was a little too stark and the flowers a little too bright. So I'm muting everything with three different colors of spray paint. Remember this landscape edging? Yes, I've used it before, and yes, I will use it again. I love the look it gives me, so I spray painted it brown, that exact same brown that I used on the rest of the metal details on this entire cart. And I'm adding kind of a little lace to the edge of both the sides of my canopy. I unscrewed that metal flashing at the edge of my awning and tucked the, the little lace inside it and screwed it tight so I won't lose it in a storm or something. Do you remember in project number one, we had those little spacer pots? We're gonna take care of that right now and I have a little extra surprise to, to spruce it up even more. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna take a look. It's so simple and it's such an easy way to change a look. You just pull one of the pots, cause there's two in there. You pull one and you slip in another pot for a different look. So simple, so easy. And for the final touches, I'm going to take some fresh cut flowers, put them into little, these are florist spikes with water inside and I'm gonna stake them inside. This is fabulous for entertaining. It's wonderful for parties, for weddings, anytime you want an extra special look. So simple. You can see what an elegant look it is. And once again, it's just so easy. And you can stake in different kinds of flowers too, at will, whenever you want a different look. Now, the transformation of a little vendor cart to my beautiful completed flower cart. There's our lacy wire, AKA the garden edger. And you get a good look at the curtain rods and those balls that were on my lights. I had taken them off to reveal just the beautiful glow of the light. There's the sconce that we trimmed down and a really good look at the sign which I did a gold wash over the entire thing to give it a little bit of bling. This is pretty shabby, so I had to bring in a little bit of bling. 
really happy with the way this turned out. There's our completed shelf. And I even added a little knob to hold a partial hose. And that dog bowl holder. I made a little top for it out of cedar. You can see how all the colors just gently blend. Not identical, but just so they coordinate well. It's all about the details. I love details. <laughs> and all of our little components are thrift shop and our clearance items have been put to good use in my beautiful flower cart. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with family and friends, and anyone interested in design and decor or gardening. Don't forget to support the channel by subscribing. Ring the bell to get notifications of all my new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And for now, this is Dawn with Shabby Meets Bling. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you next time. <laughs>